Okay, now we're going to talk part two of Mercury retrograde in the astrological houses. Uh, when Mercury is retrograde in the first house, how you approach the world may need to be rethought. Consider a change of image. Do you research? But I mean, do you research? Uh, but perhaps wait until the retrograde is over before booking a drastic haircut. <laughs> you know, uh, the first house deals with the personality and the image, the outer image of the personality, how you look physically. And when you, and if you have Mercury, the first house, okay, uh, regardless, you know, you, and it's, of course, being in Taurus retrograde. So if you have Taurus on the ascendant, and you have, of course, Mercury retrograde, there's going to be issues with your physical body. You know, make sure that your nails are clean. They don't have, there's no dirt underneath your fingernails. Make sure that you don't look drugged up or high if you're going to work after you had a major hangover because the more you try to hide it, the more it's going to show up, right? Um, make sure that you don't have bad breath because of drinking or because you have a cavity that you haven't taken care of that now the retrograde is going to put in your face for other people to see. You know, make sure your clothes look good, that you don't wear wrinkled shirts, you know, because it gives an impression that you're sloppy. So when Mercury is in uh, Taurus retrograde in the first house of the personality, you have to be careful of how you are coming across um you know take a long look in the mirror the most important thing is whether you are happy with what you see when you look in that mirror you may find yourself tripping over words or unable to express yourself in a way you would like because again mercury deals with language so if it's in the first house in taurus retrograde you might fumble in your speech in your language you might not be heard or understood you worry about how you come across to others there's a growing sense that you would like you know to uh, to express a part of yourself that perhaps you haven't allowed to come out before you know whatever that may be you know, you may feel like the way others perceive you doesn't reflect who you are on the inside. Mercury retrograde in this house can help bring the inside and the outside together, restoring a sense of confidence. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's very important. When you have Mercury retrograde in the second house, take a look at what you hold dear to you. You may find yourself asking the question, is it really worth it? Money do may, okay, money do may be delayed. So it's wise to keep some aside just in case, you know. Sometimes it's unexpected money falls into your lap. And that's a great thing to have money fall into your lap unexpectedly. But in the same coin, you might have to save money to make sure that things don't come up that you, you caught off guard, then you, you won't be able to get yourself out of because you don't got the money. It's time to think about what you really value in life also. Uh, are you happy with how you make money? Are you financially comfortable? What do you really want? Do you believe you are worth it? Are you on the way to getting it or do you feel like having further? it's going further away from you? Review your bank account. Keep any sales receipts pay overdue bills, avoid major new purchases, update or start a record listing your outgoings and income. Open a savings account if you don't have one. Reevaluate. That's the keynote to understand when Mercury is retrograde. When Mercury is retrograde in the third house, all forms of communication, transport and thinking are brought unto focus. Okay, you may feel like your mind is very busy. Sometimes Mercury transiting here can increase worry and nervous symptoms. Ensure you create some quiet time to gain clarity. You have to have that me time, that alone time where you can just like push everybody out. You know, do those meditations in your lunch hour that a lot of people are now doing on Midtown Manhattan. It's becoming a very hip 
thing. There's a lot of meditation centers opening up all over Lower Manhattan for people to, in their lunch hour, they get to come, go into these centers and actually meditate and just blank out their mind so like that they can replenish. This is a good thing to do, a good mental exercise to do when Mercury is retrograde in this third house. Mercury deals with transportation and locomotion. Repair your car, check the tires, take the car for a MOT service, check your oil and water before a long drive, research, replace the battery in your phone, charge up your battery regularly, replace your phone, but avoid a new contract until Mercury goes direct, okay? Um, Watch your speed limit. Be careful. You might have an accident. Mercury is the wing god, the messenger of the gods. He rules speed. So if you like being on a bike or being on, on some kind of motorcycle and you love speed, don't do it on a retrograde. You might have an accident or you might have a blowout. You know? So these are things that are very important. Ask questions to ensure you understand. Check someone, you know, receive your message make sure that someone received your message if you send out a message don't take it for granted that you send out a message and they got it double check with mercury retrograde things like that go wrong and the devil is always in the details okay um if you haven't heard from them send important items early be insured you know post if possible Okay. Check appointment times, spell check before sending, back up your computer, run your virus and malware checker regularly, double check emails are from who they say they are from. So make sure that these people, that you're not being gamed, you know? Very important. In personal communication, make sure you have understood the other person's point of view before going off the deep end. Diffuse arguments. This is not a time to go into arguments. Don't make promises that you can't keep. Don't say yes when you mean no and vice versa. Reconnect also with your siblings because the third house of Gemini deals with brothers and sisters, siblings. Okay, if there's a problem, Try to reconnect it. Try to mend the bridges, okay? Especially if things were left on a difficult note, okay? Now, when you have Mercury uh, retrograde in Taurus in the fourth house, your home is your sanctuary. Does it reflect who you are? If you feel stuck in a run in, 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 in life, maybe energy in your home is also stuck. If there, you know, do some feng shui. Move the furniture around. Okay, because that also helps release energy and helps clear energy. Okay, change the furniture around to give yourself a new perspective. Revisit each room and try to see if it, it try to see it with your eyes in another way that might actually make you feel more comfor comfortable. What does it say about you? You know, release objects that no longer have any meaning, okay? Because I can, anything that's cluttering in the home can also be a mental clutter in the mind. So if your house is clutter and there's clutter in the mind, then you are gonna have mental clutter. Understand that, okay? The fourth house is also your foundation, your childhood your roots, what were you, you know, what you hold dear as a child, you know, what you believe to be true. You, know, you may become aware of negative thought patterns that have a significant impact on your life. Don't be afraid to ask fundamental questions. Old family childhood issues may resurface or there may be a need to walk down memory lane because it might bring some clarity to some things that you've been pondering about, okay? Reconnect with your family. Make peace with your past. Cancer rules the past. And that's the fourth house, okay? When Mercury is retrograde in the fifth house, there may be a withdrawal of creative energy. And this can happen for a multiplicity of reasons. Uh, let the process happen. Your project may need time to ferment. 
Loss of confidence may be an underlying reason for creative stalling. Checking, check in with what you are telling yourself about your ability to express yourself. Don't compare yourself to others. You are who you are. Now, don't. I, this is a terrible time for someone creative to try to launch a creative venture or project. You know, especially they have a nonprofit, they do theater. There's so there's such an economic assault going on right now concerning our creative artistic sector that it is small wonder that this sector of the economy of the of the human you know of our culture is suffering tremendously you know money is not like it used to be and now with the advent of the internet and the fact that if you don't have any followers or a substantial amount of followers you really cannot go anywhere now because the entire landscape of how we do business has changed and a lot of it has to do now with who follows you and how many people follow you and, and, and the viability of business. Seek out new inspirations, okay? When you are in, in, in a state where you feel stuck, okay? Visit a gallery, the theater, a beach, the local park. Try out a new craft. Take yourself on an artistic date, okay? This can be a wonderful time to reconnect to your inner child, Aim to recapture your spontaneity, okay? Very important. Play a game. Spend time with your children. See through their eyes. Be curious. An old flame may reappear also when you have Mercury retrograde in the fifth house because it's the house of romance and courtship. So past partners may remind you of how far you have come or how happy or unhappy you feel. Alternative, alternatively, this is an excellent time to inject some romance back into a jaded relationship. So, you know, you might want to spice it up a bit on a retrograde to kind of like m uh, make things a little bit easier and a little bit better. Put your thinking caps on and devise new ways to play together. Even have sex together. Traditionally, this the, traditionally this isn't the best time to start a new love affair. That's the thing. So if you are having your rocky situation with the one that you're in, kind of stay there and work it out. Don't jump and start a new affair because that may actually be not a good thing. It may actually make things worse. Okay, Will's life must go on during Mercury retrograde. It's wise not to fall head over heels just yet. You know, you might want to dibble and dabble and do a little eye candy or even just dip in, you know, dip in. But make sure that you don't get pregnant. Make sure that you don't get no diseases. And make sure that if it's just a flame or just a booty call, that the emotions don't get involved. Because that can become an actual problem. Okay? We'll be right back and we are going to discuss the remaining um, seven of the astrological houses.